Oh, come on, dude. That didn't kill. 94. Come on, dude. What? I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. So hello gamers and welcome back to my ranking every conversion series of videos. I haven't made one of these episodes in a very long time. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments which category you want to see next. And please subscribe if you're new and let's go for 1000 likes. Please actually check if you're subscribed. It really helps a lot. But yeah, first off we have M14 6.5 millimeter Creedmoor. This is such a loud gun. I don't really like that. If you want a bootleg assault rifle conversion, this is a pretty decent conversion for you. You get 30 rounds, lower recoil and better velocity but basically way worse damage but it still is a three shot to the body down to a five shot at range which isn't really that great less three hit kill range and overall it just becomes a little bit more generic of an assault rifle but if you want 30 bullets it's really not a bad conversion i'd give this conversion probably a four out of five it's a very good and usable assault rifle possibly better than the default gun because the default recoil is kind of strange i'm not gonna lie me likey 750 rpm pretty good nothing really to say here on this one kind of generic to be honest but yeah pretty good then we have the ecr which has a very generic conversion and then some of the weirdest conversions you've ever seen. But I guess we'll start off with one of the weirder conversions, which is the 458 Socom conversion. If you want basically a bootleg extended magazine on your ECR, this is pretty good. It gets lower recoil and 20 rounds, but a slower reload time, less reserve ammo, and also a lot worse damage. But it still does really, really good damage. It does 42, I think, instead of 52. But it's still 42, and the recoil is kind of... It's not bad, you know? The thing I don't really like about this is that I love the ECR for its damage. As you can see, it's still got great damage, but it's not quite as good, you know? It's not a two shot to the body. Reloading a little bit slower as well is pretty bad, but this is actually a really great conversion if you think about it, because it's basically like a Scar H, a Fal 50, with in some cases better damage, however, a lot better RPM. Kinda goes against the ECR way of 10 rounds, massive damage, massive recoil, but it's fine. And we have 556 by 45 millimeter. I do not like this conversion. It is not fun. Basically, if you want a very generic assault rifle with a four to five hit 30 rounds and really low recoil and stuff it exists it's decent it's good enough but it's just really kind of weak it feels extremely generic more than the 30 rounds on the m14 because it's a four shot and the m14 still has a three shot kill with that conversion which is pretty nice there's not much to say here it's just like a 5.56 assault rifle i feel like the ecr conversions in a lot of ways just go against what makes the ecr so cool at least in my opinion but then we have 410 board 410 is a very interesting conversion in this game even though this is a semi-auto shotgun it still has a bigger magazine than the default ecr and it does massive damage per pellet it's actually really really good it's only got five pellets and you're like okay five pellets instead of eight if you guys didn't know most shotguns have eight pellets per shot however the damage on the pellets is insane it does like double barrel damage a pellet despite being a 410 which in real life a 410 is actually a lot smaller than a 12 gauge so i don't know why in this game the 410 is like the higher damage one but you know it's fine it's for balancing speaking of balancing is this gun balanced um yeah, I, I mean, like, it falls off really hard at range, as you can see there. But 15 rounds, lots of RPM, massive magazine. This is a very good conversion. So overall, Stockholm would probably get a 4 out of 5, really, really good. 5 out of 6 is a 4 out of 5, but it's kind of generic. For shotguns, I feel like 410, eh, it's probably still a 4 out of 5. But they're all really, really good conversions. I really like all the conversions on these guns. But next up, we have the Scar H, which has the 762 by 39 millimeter conversion, which is basically another 30-round assault rifle conversion on a battle rifle. And I don't feel like this one is quite as good the damage is pretty decent i'm not gonna lie and it sounds pretty beefy and cool stockholm ammo actually kind of beats it out stockholm has better damage a torso multiplier and it does have worse ranges but it has better velocity as well so overall i give this one a three out of five if you want a slower firing stockholm type gun with a 30 round mag it's pretty decent but ecr stockholm is a lot better than you'd initially expect from a conversion that kind of just is an extended mag with worse damage but then we have the ak-12 br ak-12 br is basically like the extremely controllable higher fire rate but kind of lower damage battle rifle it still does great damage however first off we have 762 by 39 this has pretty trash damage it has like 30 to 20 damage pretty bad however it has 50 rounds which is pretty decent and the rpm is pretty decent if you want to be able to beam from like very far ranges it's good but for a 762 by 39 it is super weak i don't understand this is worse damage than like the 5 by 6 on the ecr does you do get 50 rounds and you can beam but i kind of feel like stuff like the hammer and i just already does it better so i'd give this one a three out of five i don't think it's that bad but like eh, it's just kind of eh. and you have 12.7 millimeter which is basically 50 cal round on a battle rifle 
yeah, but I'm not talking like 50 Beowulf, I'm talking like 50 BMG, like the SFG is shooting, you know? It's not as big as a BFG bullet, but it's it's getting up there, dude. So basically, this does 60, I think, to the body, but it does a ton of headshot damage, being able to one-shot headshot in close range, which is pretty good for the RPM, right? Here's the thing, the recoil is really weird, not very high, but very weird, and also this thing falls off so hard, it falls off so incredibly hard. It does 22 min, meaning it's a 5 shot, which is half of its magazine, and the recoil is it's not bad though it's just weird recoil you know but it's not necessarily bad recoil you can still hit your shots which is pretty interesting for such a massive round be this controllable i don't really understand that but it does have slower fire rate than the default ak-12 br but yeah it's firing a very large bullet very good conversion though. honestly i kind of want to give it a five out of five because when it does it does very good it's a one-shot headshot full auto gun the svu auto might have been better before for that purpose but now it can't one-shot headshot and it's a completely different gun but overall this is an amazing gun it's very very good for what it does yeah five out of five but now we're going to get on to some of the weirdest conversions in the game a 45 acp battle rifle a shotgun lever action battle rifle and some other pretty interesting ones first off we have henry 3030 3030 on the henry is pretty interesting if you want basically a faster henry that can still one shot to the head at all ranges and can still one shot force but only in very close ranges then this is pretty good he's gonna die yep. basically you get 25 extra rpm so 25 percent more which is nice I have a six round magazine not magazine the worst player of all time holy but it is just straight up way weaker you know you get like one third the torso kill range so basically not as many one shots to the body outside of like extremely point blank range which is pretty annoying it's still a one shot headshot at long range which makes it definitely the better conversion for the longer range engagements you might end up in that was a headshot and it didn't kill dude. but not really my favorite i really like the default gun and you have 357 magnum which on paper if you're not looking at advanced stats seems insane you get 10 rounds really fast reload lots of reserve ammo fires extremely quickly and it says it does more damage but actually it completely removes your torso multi and a lot of headshot multi so basically you can't one shot to the torso anymore at any range not even point blank range you can't even one shot headshot outside of like maybe like 150 studs which is decent but it's not all ranges and the velocity is really bad as well i don't really like this it's a very trash conversion kind of a meme conversion it makes it called the henry big boy funny name i guess but like yeah really trash conversion i give this one probably a two out of five just use the scout just just use the KSC SRR. Any other headshot killing gun will do better than this, in my opinion. But then you have the 410 bore attachment. This is the Henry shotgun conversion. It does 50 damage a pellet with six pellets, but drops very fast, has quite a bit of spread, and fires really slow and reloads slow. This is kind of like the Henry no skill conversion. If you want to use a lever action and have a lot of fun, you can use this and not really be as skilled because you can hit a guy in the foot and it will still kill them because it's a shotgun. Is it a great shotgun? Eh, it's an alright shotgun. I'd probably give it like a 3 out of 5. It's really not that great the rpm is pretty bad for a shotgun remington 870 does it better the case g might even do it better there's a bunch of pump actions in this game and they all kind of do what this does a little bit better with a little bit better rpm but very similar in terms of like killing range of this because the spread it's not that great you know but yeah you can kill in close range with it of course however for a lever action it doesn't feel as powerful but at the same time i don't really want this to be great like it does what it does pretty well headshot multi on it is actually pretty good for a shotgun as well so it kind of rewards accuracy a bit more than a regular shotgun but yeah i think it's a decent shotgun i think it's very very fun very loud hit markers with it but just not really the best like in terms of killing range as you can see there we go oh come on dude that didn't kill 94 come on dude what I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. Last up, we have the FAL 50 ammo types. Now, the FAL has one very generic conversion and one very interesting conversion. First one is 5.56. It's just like every other battle rifle AR conversion. It just gives you a three shot to a five shot. It's decent. It has good ranges. The RPM is good. The velocity is good. The damage is pretty good. I don't know. It's like, it's a good gun. But do I love it? I... I'm so bad. That could have been like a continued multi there. And then I could have killed this guy. I'm kind of going ham with it right now. I don't know why. Are you serious? I'm insane with this. I do like this a lot more than ECR 5.56. Even M14 6.5. I don't really like the M14 overall. This has good damage, good range, good 3 a kill range. Feels nice. I don't know. It's a bit generic, but it does feel a little bit. That is a cool setup, dude. 90 stud 3 a kill range. 
very, very good. Big conversion overall, probably a five out of five. I'm going to be real. The FAL 50 is still amazing. They have nerfed the 5.56 conversions on the FALs a little bit, but not by a ton. They're still insane. And we have 45 ACP, which is the very interesting conversion. Basically, if you want 50 bullets and still pretty good damage up close, not as good as it used to be, but it does 36 pretty good but drops insanely badly because it does like 19 at range and this is actually a really really good conversion you get 50 rounds you know recoil is really really good two shot headshot six shot at range of course but that's typical for a pdw this is a 45 so it's kind of like a pdw it's got 50 rounds and feels a lot more powerful than 762 by 39 on the ak-12 br so Honestly, another 5 out of 5. This conversion used to be insane, but now it's a little bit better in terms of balancing, but you got 50 bullets. It's still pretty good. I'm kind of going ham with the FAL 50 right now, which I don't know why, because I'm not like a huge FAL 50 user. I used it my fair share, I guess, like 200 kills probably. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, that is ranking every battle rifle conversion in Phantom Forces. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.